It makes the picture look squeezy and strange when you have things hanging up yeah. from your neck. <laughs> I want to make sure that every single person who is in this country, who's aspiring um, to become part of the American fabric, uh, understands that nothing this president says should be taken apart. We are Americans as much as everyone else. This is our country and we are where we belong. And I told people on my election night, in the great state of Minnesota, we don't just welcome refugees, we send them to represent us in Washington. And as much as he's spewing his fascist ideology on stage, telling you as citizens to go back because they don't agree with his detrimental policies for our country, we tell people that here in the United States, dissent is patriotic. Here in the United States, Disagreement is welcome, debate is welcomed, and especially in the People's House, all of our voices are uplifted and heard, and we see her, we see me, we see her, we see everyone in this country, and they are not only my neighbors, my friends, my sisters and brothers, they are also my constituents and they're my fellow citizens. And this American uh, president, this president does not speak for them. Um, and we are going to make sure that we get a president that they could be proud of. Are you, are you worried? Thank you Can you hear that right away? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every single person who shares an identity with me. And he's telling them, you guys are going to be all right. I'm good. He's telling them that this is not their country. And what we tell them is that this is and they are welcome here. Because what I said on my election night was that in Minnesota, we don't just welcome refugees, right? We send them to Washington. And that is that is the message. Our message is about hope, it's about making sure that people feel like they belong um, and that uh, we are extending that tolerance and hope and aspiration to all of them. To inspire one day to have the opportunity to serve their, their friends their friends and neighbors. We have condemned Thank you for his racist remarks. I believe he is fascist because today, even Lindsey Graham defended his comments by saying that if I was wearing a mega hat, if there was a Somali person wearing a mega hat, they would not be deported. But because I criticized the president, I should be deported. I want to remind people that this is what this president and his supporters have turned our country that is supposed to be a country where we allow democratic debate and dissent to take place. And so this is not about me, this is about us fighting for what this country truly should be and what it deserves to be. Thank you. Thank you.